I'm Hema, and I'm co-founder and head of engineering at Kumo.ai. And to know a little bit about Kumo, uh, we'll walk through the journey of Sally, the data scientist. Now, let's say Sally works at H&M, and H&M is you know, the clothing store. And she has to build a ton of recommendations. She, you know, she works on things that power the website, the in-app notifications. She also gets pings from her customer loyalty retention program members, like right? the marketing team, for example, saying whom should we send coupons to? So she has a ton of requests, some of which requiring production SLA, some of which one-off requests. And that gets hairy, especially given what it takes to build machine learning on a data warehouse today. Because for her, her data is sitting in tables. Her data is sitting in um, you know, Salesforce tables. It's sitting in uh, Snowflake-like tables. It's sitting you know, in AWS S3 Parquet uh, files. And she has to bring all that data together. And she not only has to be a great data scientist, but she has to be this wizard who knows all of these tools and for every problem that she has to solve. So here's where Kumo comes in. Kumo says, can we actually give Sally that interface where she can just plug in all her data sources? Can she assemble a graph which just says, how do all these tables connect with each other? Can she just specify some metadata about those tables? And then can we give her a very SQL-like interface that lets her specify her business problem, right? So can she just say, specify that uh, you know, customer churn problem in a SQL-like language? And that's what Kumo does. So our tagline is query the future. And it's inspired by saying, you know, we want to make querying the future as easy as it is to query the past. And querying the past is what you do in SQL. And we all know SQL. We love it. We do it well. But machine learning is so hairy today. The other inspiration for Kumo is just bringing that deep learning revolution to the data warehouse. So if you are like me and you did machine learning 20 years ago, whether you did text or images, you were hand encoding features. So to detect a car, you actually said that's the light and that's the handle and this is what everything looks like and these are adjacent pixels and you wrote tons of workflows and it took you a year to build that one classifier which says that's a car. But today you just give your neural network raw pixel data, you don't do any data cleaning, you don't do anything, any feature engineering and out comes the output. Can we do the same for data warehouse data? So that's Como, uh, who we are with three of us in the, co in the founding team. Uh, we have decades of experience in recommender systems, search and machine learning. Um, uh, we come from Airbnb, Pinterest, LinkedIn, uh, each one of us. And uh, we have a background, uh, you know, a, a group of uh, the founding engineering team uh, was seated from a Stanford lab. So Yure, who's in the middle, is uh, chief scientist and professor at Stanford and continues to do, this, do that. That's us. We're about 30 people strong today, and uh, we continue to grow. Uh, just a couple of screenshots to show you what the product looks like. But, uh, you know, this is as easy as it gets where you, you know, import your data, you bring, you know, pull in your data through a connector and we have connectors into all kinds of data warehouses. And then you specify your primary and foreign key relationships. After that, you have a very simple interface where you can start writing predictive queries. So no more workflow or orchestration, no more tons of cube flow and airflow pipelines to get your machine learning problem out there. You just start putting predictive queries one after the other. You get your model back, you write your predictions, and you can power your production systems. Under the hood, we support our, an open source ecosystem. We are, we are the primary contributor and the maintainer of PyG, which is a popular open source uh, framework for graph neural networks. We're a highly published team, you can look, at, look us up. And we come from Stanford, TU Dortmund, and we have several collaborations with Intel and NVIDIA. We're hiring across the stack. So whether you like to work on the core uh, you know, uh, infrastructure layers, or you like to scale up machine learning. So we've taken a tool like you know, PyG, which, is, and which uses graph neural networks, and we can scale it up to 50 billion node graphs that run at scale in a distributed system or whether you like to make our UI for a machine learning engineer really easy, 
we have a role for you. Uh, this is just a slide to show how GraphML is on fire and uh, one of the most popular uh, you know, representation learning frameworks out there today. So we are hiring. That's our team eating ramen. We love going out for ramen. We love going out for hikes. Uh, we're based in uh, uh, Mountain View on Castro Street. And uh, our values are there. We're customer centric. We're optimistic about innovation. And uh, the one I love most is we're better together. We're like nodes in a network. And we have to use that network analogy. So <laughs> that's us. Thank you.